traditionally university is about pushing forward the knowledge, the boundaries of knowledge, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and that's that you know seen as maybe like a good thing for society. What you know, what are your thoughts on that? <laughs> um. <laughs> mm, um. Pushing the boundaries of knowledge. <laughs> Pretty intense question. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh my god. Um, isn't that what I just said? To get smarter? Pushing the boundaries of knowledge. Um, I literally don't know how to answer that. Isn't it something about the pursuit of knowledge? Again, I think it depends what career you want to get, what you want to do. If you want to do something like medicine and law, yeah, but I think some things like acting, for example, it's more about luck and having a big break, so I think it depends what you want to do with your life. Um, yeah, the fact that people still study lots of kind of art subjects that aren't vocational shows that they still just want to pursue knowledge. <laughs> Isn't it about the pursuit of knowledge? Um, the pursuit of their own knowledge, I don't think they impart a lot of that knowledge. We don't get a lot of contact time for the amount of money we put in. Uh, some, some, the high ones maybe, but I think generally most <laughs> universities are just there. It's like a stepping stone into careers, like further education. Like the only people who come back and do masters usually aren't people our age. They're usually people who are like 30s, 40s, done well in their yeah. field. They go back to university, like the big universities, and then they're the ones that push the knowledge. It's not really generally down to the 19-year-olds. I think that was all lost. That kind of traditional concepts of unis during like the early 20th century, really. Now it's just about kind of getting to where you want to go. You've got to use uni effectively to, if you want to do well, to go where you want to go. Yeah, well, that's, that's it, isn't it? You get, obviously, at school, you're kind of told this is this and this is this, whereas at uni, you're there, like you say, to go and find, you get the basis information in lectures or whatever, and then you're there to, the, the, the onus is on you to go away and, you know, learn, look, look online, get journal articles and make your own mind up about, OK, well, I've read this literature, I've read this literature, and I agree with this, I disagree with this, and you're there to make your own mind up, whereas at school, it's like a science lesson, it's like, this is this, that's it, and you don't go away and think, okay, I'll challenge that. So I think uni there is there to you know challenge yourself to think about things a little bit more. No, no, it only uh, like the stuff we do at uni only really applies to like stuff you want to do like in a job. Like I mean, we've just come from a four-hour lab session, and like that's not going to be useful to anything except if you go to a job working in a lab. Do you think universities exist for academics or for students? Um. I'll let you take that one. Traditionally, obviously, for academics, but I mean, I, I could, I, I don't know. That's quite a tough one. It's a tricky one, one yeah. And what, what does it mean for a university to, exi to exist for academics? I mean, I guess it's the kind of pursuit of knowledge, isn't it? And the, the kind of, I guess they're, they're, they're trying to broaden and uh, broaden our broaden our broaden, broaden the education of everyone and to bring society forward and I guess it's kind of they still do that to a degree but at the same time um, it's very much yeah student experience and students education so do you think universities used to be about knowledge and they're more about just helping people get a job now and do you think that's a good thing or...? Um, Partly, that, I think that is true, but it's not doing its job. Like, I personally come here to get a marketing degree so I can have a job in marketing myself or do something around, around, around those lines, but people who have come to university in the past may have just come for the knowledge, but people who are getting degrees now and end up working in Tesco's. So yeah. I think that's why they... I don't know. It's, it's a bit weird. The, um, it used to be, I think, that people came to uni for the knowledge, um, but it used to be from people who were like from richer backgrounds. They already knew that they had a, they already had all the contacts sorted out for them. They already knew that they all they needed was the knowledge for it. Whereas we we need something else. I don't think of myself as currently processing knowledge. I see myself just now as getting an education. But I mean, depending on whether or not I continue to go into education after I leave university or what happens there. Maybe Point I'd see myself extending or kind of uh, joining the the I don't know the <laughs> the, the force for the truth for whatever <laughs> you know what I mean.